Today we're going to create this amazingly powerful word cloud portrait effect in Affinity Photo. All right, let's jump straight into it. Now I've opened my canvas right here and as you can see the dimensions of my canvas are 2500 pixels times 2500 pixels and this is the picture of my dog buddy that I want to use. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to uh, extract our subject from the background. Now I don't use any graphic tablet I just use the trackpad of my MacBook and my keyboard so this um, should be fairly easy for you to follow along. All right so let's make a selection of my dog body by using the quick selection brush so I press W on the keyboard and I'm just gonna click and drag over buddy um, to make a selection of him now I'm actually only gonna use his top part so I don't really bother the bottom part what I want to do is refine my selection so I'm gonna go to my context toolbar and hit refine and now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit increase my brush size by using the right bracket key and brush over the um, yeah the, the area that I want affinity photo to have a closer look at so something like this looks pretty good to me um, this looks okay maybe here a little bit and on this side as well maybe I like this better all right so this looks pretty good to me and now I can press um, apply all right so there we've got our selection and what I want to do now is um, create a mask so that we only have body so I'm gonna go to my mask icon and uh, hit the mask um, button and then press command D to deselect and this is the subject that we are going to use. So let's select body, let's press command C, let's go to our canvas and let's press command V. Now you see that body is pretty small and that is because this is quite a low resolution picture. So if I check the document size, it is uh, 1440 by uh, times 1800, which is not the highest quality, but it doesn't matter for this effect because we're going to cover up um, yeah, uh, parts of it with letters and words. All right, so let's zoom out a little bit by pressing command zero, uh, sorry, command minus, and then I'm going to stretch out body quite a bit because I want to make... Um, a portrait photo so I just want this face and maybe a little smaller so we have a little bit of surrounding and this looks fairly good to me so I'm gonna press command zero to zoom back in and that was the first step by the way this video was brought to you by the ultimate brush bundle 100 plus realistic brushes that make photo manipulation fun for everyone add northern lights clouds stars fireworks smokes lightning and so much more to your photos in just a click now 66 percent off link in the description all right so now the second step is to create the actual word cloud now i found this website which is uh, wordclouds.com so let's go to this website and this is a very easy um, word cloud generator it's completely free to use and what you want to do um, mine is currently generating what you want to do is you want to go to your word list and edit the word list and add all the words that you want inside of your word cloud so i've basically um, generated four words that um, yeah have something to do with affection or love for dogs and that is the list that i want to use there are a couple of settings that you want to change you want to might want to change the font and this is the font that i'm using bebas noi or nui or whatever it's called um, you also might want to change the direction so I want to have horizontal and vertical words only because otherwise it can get quite messy and the colors you want to be white so there are, um, by default there are a couple of other colors which you can uh, delete pretty easily by just hitting the color and hitting clear and then you want to select white but let's select black for now because then you can actually see the word cloud that has been generated there we go and let me stop this for now and at the options you want to choose these settings so um, the text drawing mode you want to uh, leave as default drawing method you can you uh, click spiral and then the minimum word size is 0.5 and this uh, yeah just basically copy these settings all right once you've done that you can hit to um, auto fit and repeat words and what this basically does is it makes bigger words and smaller words until basically infinity so let's um, generate it once again so let's hit repeat words and then once again now you can see it starts rendering and it makes all of these words bigger smaller um, and makes a very very clear word cloud for us 
until basically until infinity now once we're done generating it looks like this now obviously i want my text to be white so i'm gonna go back into colors and i'm gonna select white and then hit okay um, hit apply and then wait for it to render all right, so there I have my word cloud. What you want to do now is simply um, export it. So you want to go to file and hit save as image HD. And once you click that, you can file, give it a file name and you want to save it as a PNG. Now I've already done this and my word cloud is right here. So I'm gonna copy this one, go back into my document and paste it over buddy. And I want to double click my uh, thumbnail icon and then I want to fit it to the screen or to my canvas. So um, to make it easy, you can uh, select this little magnet right here to turn snapping on. Now you can see all the words and that is because the background is white. So let's create a black background so we can actually see everything. So we're going to go up to our uh, to the menu bar and go to layer and click on new fill layer and you want to change the color to black and then you want to drag the fill layer all the way to the bottom and now you can see that we have got this huge word cloud over our body image now i want to change a couple of settings so i want to uh, go into my word cloud let's rename this one word cloud and i want to change um, the outer shadow and just increase the outer shadow a little bit so let me zoom in so we can see what we're doing um, i want to create a little offset so something like six pixels or something i want to change the angle to about 30 uh, degrees and yeah you can play a little bit with the radius and the uh, intensity if you want to make it less visible or make it more visible however you like so i will go for something like this let's close and let's zoom back out all right, so now we've got our picture in place, we've got the background in place, and we've got our word cloud in place. Now it's time to shape the word cloud, um, yeah, let's say uh, around the face of Buddy. Now, how we're gonna do this, we first want to copy the mask that we have created. So I'm gonna duplicate this mask by selecting it and pressing Command J, and I want to drag it over my word cloud so that we have the uh, word cloud only inside of the mask. Then what I want to do is I want to hide the word cloud for now. Now I want to blur body and this has to do with the next step. So I'm going to select my um, filters. I'm going to hit Gaussian blur and I want to blur body until there is no details visible anymore. Now also what I want to do is I want to add contrast to him. So um, I, can, I, I want to do this by uh, creating a levels adjustment layer and I'm going to increase the brightness and I'm going to increase the darkness. So I have more contrast in the image so that our displacement map works better. Let's clip this to our layer. And now we want to create our displacement map. So make sure to select the word cloud and let's actually activate it for now. Let's go into the live filters and let's go to displace and load map from layers beneath. So once we've done that, we can actually drag this slider and you will see that it kind of looks like the words are bending around the face of my dog. Now I figured that around 25 pixels looks best. And what you see now is that we actually move the whole word cloud and we actually move the whole mask. And this is something I don't want. So we want to change the layer order. We want to make sure that our displacement filter is below our mask. And we do that by dragging the mask on top. And now you can see that the mask is uh, respected. All right, now once that's done, we can um, unblur body basically. So I want to uh, disable my blur. I can also uh, disable my levels adjustment layer for now, but we might want to add this later. And we want to show our word cloud. And now we want to um, drag body above our word cloud. So something like this. And we want to change the blend mode to darker color. And now you already see we've got this super interesting effect. Now, if you want to add words to the background as well, which I think makes it more powerful, what you want to do is duplicate your word cloud. You can delete the displacement map and you want to invert the layer mask. So I'm going to hit Command I and then you make sure to select the word cloud. And this is, this is the word cloud background. And you just reduce the opacity to um, yeah, whatever value you like. 
Now you can see that we've got this little halo, let's say, around body, which is something I'm not really excited about. And um, we can fix this pretty easily. So I want to um, select body. I want to create a new layer and I want to clip the layer to body. So let's, um, whoops. And once it's clipped, now we want to grab a brush tool, press B on the keyboard, increase your brush size, and basically darken the outside of your image. So I'm going to carefully do that. And this basically makes Buddy blend in a little better with the background than before. So something like this and we can change the opacity however we like so if it's too dark we can just change the opacity and something like this looks fine now we can check if it looks better with or without the levels adjustment layer or we can tweak it however we want so let's maybe uh, make him a little brighter and let's make the the darks a little less dark so something like this and that is how to create this amazing word cloud portrait effect I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe to the channel if you want more Affinity Photo tutorials. And I'll see you in the next video.